Hello and welcome to the short video on how to take a test online in Moodle. The short video will be able to show you how to be able to begin a test and complete and submit your answers. First of all, you'll notice that we're simply using this Moodle test site as an example. First of all is before you even start this quiz, some things that you need to consider before taking a test. Number one, you need to ask your instructor, are you going to be able to take the exam at home from your computer? If you are, there's a couple things that you need to do. First of all, you need to check your computer and your internet connection. There's nothing worse than being able to start a test and find out that your internet connection is down and you're not able to begin or take your test, which means as you're running around trying to pick up a laptop and find somebody or maybe even race over to the college, and all this does is simply increase your anxiety to be able to take your test. The next thing you'll need to do if you're going to be taking a test at home is to find a time and, and an area that is free from any type of interruptions. Let your family and your friends know that you're going to be occupied from that time for taking a test. And of course, too, take your telephone, take your cell phone, put it on vibrate. Take everything that's any type of distractions and try and reduce these things to where you have a good environment to be able to take a test. Uh, another one is, and I know this sounds uh, the same as from coming from any instructors, but when you're taking a test, do your own work. Don't try and cheat. Don't try and pleasurize. All this is going to do is by taking shortcuts in your education, it's going to deprive you of the education that you're paying for. Consider also the fact that what might happen if you get caught at the at college here, instructors have... Uh, several different types of platforms to be able to check for plagiarism and cheating. So, we're ready to take a test. We found out from our instructor when the test is going to be available and uh, what it's going to cover. Now, in Moodle, we can look for the quizzes and tests right up here in the activity blocks where you see the green check mark where it says quizzes. When you click on this link, you should be able to see your quiz. As you see, this is a quiz we're going to be taking today. I'm simply going to click on to this, but before I do, I'm going to show you that also too is you'll find the quiz a lot of times in the module that your instructor has placed it in. As you see, the same link here, goal setting quiz. When I click on to this, it brings me to this beginning uh, page. You'll find that there, there, there are the directions that the instructor has gave you on the test. Please read these carefully to ensure that uh, it, that you read exactly what your instructor wants you to do. Also, take into consideration if they have placed a time limit on taking your, your test. You'll notice also, too, is that they placed a window in here saying that the quiz is going to be open starting at 8 o'clock and it's going to close at 10 o'clock. This is your window of opportunity to be able to take your test. Inside this window, you don't have two hours, but you have 30 minutes for the test. Now, I'm ready to take a test. I'm simply going to click on it. It says the quiz has a time limit, and I am limited to one attempt. If you're ready to proceed, click OK. The next window brings me into my test. You'll notice that I have simply two questions per page. And if you look on the right-hand side, you'll see that there is a time clock telling me how much time that I have as I am taking my test. Read each question carefully and submit the correct answer. Your questions can be true and false, multiple choice, essay. Uh, there's a lot of variety of type of test items that your instructor can give you. When you look down at the bottom, you'll notice that you have two buttons. You have one with save without submitting and one submit all and finish. In this case, I'm simply going to save my answers to these two questions without submitting. This allows the program to be able to save my questions before I go on to the next page. I'm simply going to click on next which takes me to the next page. If you need to go back you can simply click on one to preview the previous page. Here I simply select my answers and again save without submitting. Taking me to my last page which is going to be page three. In this case since I have answered all my questions I'm simply going to click on the button that says submit all and finish. You'll get a little information warning saying you're about to close this attempt and once you close it, you will no longer be able to change your answers. Make sure that you check your answers carefully before you submit. I click OK and my quiz is sent. 
Now, your instructor gives you the opportunity that they can either tell you your grade, they can show you your answers. It is totally up to the instructor on the different types of feedback that they want to give you. Don't be surprised if they don't show you the answers or where you missed or had mistakes on questions that you answered incorrectly. This is totally up to your instructor. If they give you more than one attempt, you can simply come up to the button and start again. The one thing also, too, is you'll notice on this screen is that I cannot copy and do work on here. Uh, sometimes your instructors do put up a security browser that doesn't allow you to right click and be able to copy or to open up another site. This concludes a short video on how to take a test.